Hi everyone, how are you? Having fun. My best life. That I had never even imagined myself being a business owner, but being able to start a business and grow it makes me want to help other women kind of have the same thing. Independent Senior Sales Director with Mary Kay Cosmetics. I have been building my business now for 10 years. One thing that has allowed me to go forward in Mary Kay is I love to win. I love to win in every arena. <laughs> And Mary Kay built this company so that women like you and I could move up and also show their family that they could still be there for them. I want other women to see that you can show up to this place and you can just be authentically yourself. If you wanna wear a bright lipstick, wear a bright lipstick. If you wanna wear bright colors, do that. Be who you are. And I get to pass it down to my daughter. Hi, Mary Kay. We're at the park with our family. Look what we're doing, living our what? Living our lives. Our what lives? Our best lives. Our best lives. My oldest son is seven. About nine months after I had him, I went to a doctor's appointment and I was diagnosed with postpartum depression. Nobody knew that I had been crying every day on my way to work, on my way from work. I was able to talk to our team and my team rallied around me. The community that I have and the, my husband, my mom, my sister, my brother, my cousins, my friends, they all rallied around me. And after that, I promised myself that I would never give up on myself again or give up on other people because there is always someone who needs to know that they can do it too. And then I found myself building a team of women whose lives were impacted and changed. They believe in themselves. They believe they can do this and you want to help them and do it over and over and over again. And who wouldn't want that feeling? Knowing that you can help someone and believe that they can do whatever they put their mind to. My favorite quote is, if you think you can, you can. And if you think you can't, you're right. No one's gonna stop you from getting to where you wanna be as long as you're willing to put in the work. And if I could go back and tell 18-year-old Brandy anything, is that girl, you're gonna live your best life with this business and you're gonna help other women do the same thing. Trust me. Because they know me and they know the products. Before Mary Kay, I did know some people, but now I meet people from all over the world. Thanks to social media, I have met people from all over the place, and every time there's an event and we are able to meet in person, we hug like we have known each other our whole lives. It's very nice. I really love it. The way I use social media to build my business is through education. I love to educate people on how they can look better and feel better about themselves by using our products. Being able to reach people while I'm working through social media, where we also share more about our products and our culture, has helped me tremendously. I also share a lot about how my business has helped my personal development how it helps me have a great time wherever I go, and people love that. Mary Kay just fits my life. Somebody say that's love. Yeah. That's not how. Story. Story is three days. Three days later. He rose again. That's love. Somebody say that's love. That's love. Oh, that's, that's not how. The story is three days later. Three days later. He rose.
And when I found that work and put that organization together, then I had to structure it. All these things happen in the midst of you finding out who you are. Because the DNA will send you on another, another wave, another way, another how to do it. It's just an inventory opportunity. Look in your family, look in your life, look in your job history of all the things you've done and find yourself. Find the freedom. The freedom ain't going to find you. And you're only going to find the freedom if you release some of the captives that haven't been set free. This trauma is deep. You can only beat this trauma with God. You can only beat this trauma by staying on the wall. We had, you know, at Bethel, I grew up being a prayer warrior. When I came to, I came to, to, to Detroit, I mean Seattle, with some shaft jacket on, you know, the shaft fur around, all, I had all that on. And they said, well, he ain't saved. Yes, I was in my environment because the preacher carried a gun. And when you tried to rob the church, he said, you know what, I'm going to shoot you in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. That was Detroit. But what I had to find out was this side of the world is different. I can't bring all that anger management, all that unangered management. I had to let some things go because when I played football, I broke two guys' spinal cord because my uncle told me a story. He said, your dad used to beat you. Why don't you act like the person in front of you is your dad? He shouldn't have never. I've had a 30-year marriage, and when I divorced my wife, you know what I told her? I'm gonna make sure you took him care of. You wanna know why? Because I stood at the altar with her, and I said, for better or for worse, for richer or for poor. And because it got to the point where after 30 years we had to separate and do that thing, I'm still a responsible man. She thanks me today how I dropped it. I dropped it like it's hot. I sold his house. I gave her every, everything. And she looked at me and said, what you gonna do? I said, serve God. What, what, see, what y'all forget is, go back to my memory. I've always had a job. I've always taken care of other folks' money. And I wasn't no finance person. What I wanted to do was be involved with things that would understand the economy. Our, our economy's gone. You just don't.
bar and a really nice selection of sandwiches. How much of the sandwiches? See that? What do you see down there, Liz? Oh, is that oh, the camel? Oh my goodness. Whoa. Something big. Hi. Hi. <laughs> that is something really big down there. Where?